Yeah, so Live Ramp, we're a data collaboration platform. And what that means is that we enable marketers and publishers to come together, collaborate with the data, um, better understand their consumer journeys, and then use a connective ecosystem uh, to personalize and measure those journeys. So with clean room technology, we think that's the next frontier in enabling more data sharing, right? So as we know, first party data is huge, but some brands, they're not gonna be able to collect enough first party data. Clean rooms enable them to work together, to build second party data. Clean rooms are what are powering retail media networks. Clean rooms are going to be what power a lot of the media transactions of the future. Importantly though, you know, a lot of talk about clean rooms is on the clean room itself. We view the clean room as important functionality, but just one step in the journey. And so the total journey is how can you collect the data, apply your own first party identity, manage the data, collaborate with the data, which is the clean room part, have those permissions, have those governments, but then importantly also connect the data. At the end of the day, you don't want your data to be stuck in a bunker where you can't use the data. You want to be able to take the data after you've collaborated with it and then personalize the consumer journey. So there's a lot of buzz about clean rooms in Canvas here. Is this just a passing fad or are clean rooms here to stay? I think clean room functionality is here to say. So there's some really good things about clean rooms, the permissions, the governance, the enabling folks to you know, share data, but in a safe way where people have control over it. So that functionality is here long term. I think a lot of the clean rooms, a lot of the excitement as of any new tech is probably short term. And so the question is how do brands and how do publishers look at clean rooms and evaluate what's here for the long? Uh, and the key to that, I think, is a connective ecosystem, making sure that your clean room is interoperable. At the end of the day, there's not gonna be one clean room to rule them all. There's probably gonna be several dozen of them. So how do you make sure they all work together and work across the clouds as well? So the other big buzz in the US marketplace in the TV space is obviously the transition to a multi-currency market. Lots of people are saying that clean rooms are critical to the success of that multi-currency future. Why? I think we see an opportunity with clean rooms in enabling kind of measurement across channels. So when we talk about multi-currency, I think we're really talking about marketers want to understand all of the impressions they buy across channels and then uh, be able to connect those to real world events. Did you come in the store? Did you buy something? Did you buy an airline ticket? And so clean rooms can help enable that because previously data that publishers who would not share, you know, it's their protected data, now they can share in a protected way. And so that's where that clean room functionality comes into play, enabling marketers to measure the data and then also enabling you to compare connected TV with the World Gardens, with the open web, and truly understand where's the best place for your media to perform. So as an industry, what should we be doing to really unlock the full potential of clean rooms? How do we make them more actionable, interoperable, efficient, and so on? Yes, so I think first and foremost, the focus, you said it, interoperability. How do we make the clean rooms work together? Um, there's not gonna be one clean room, so we've got to enable it where if a marketer has data in clean room A, they can easily speak with a marketer and data in clean room B. Also, cross cloud. There's gonna be people on AWS, there's gonna be people in Snowflake, in Azure. How do you enable that cross cloud functionality? And then finally, making sure that clean rooms ultimately serve a purpose. Data collaboration is great, but you're doing it for a purpose, and that's where that connective ecosystem goes in. So making sure that all of the uh, you know, ad tech and media ecosystem, and even looking beyond MarTech, SMS, and email, can be connected back to the data and the clean room.